Sarah, thank you so much for joining us for this fireside conversation at the African Odyssey. Thank you, thank you. It's lovely to be here. So I've got um, two questions that I want to ask you, and I'm going to speak in maybe one more for the benefit of our viewers. Yeah. So the first question is, um, the pandemic gave us a lot of time to sit aside and to really reflect and rethink some of our ideas um, on what holistic balance looks like and what holisticness looks like in terms of being a woman um, in the context of this world. What are some of the things that you would advise your pre-pandemic self after what we've been through? Well, I think something that is outstanding uh, for me about uh, pandemic and pre-pandemic is that uh, the pre-pandemic phase was not a perfect phase. If we are thinking about building back better and building forward, it has got to be something that is different than what we had before. We cannot go back to where we used to be. And my take is that while we can try and influence everybody about the importance of looking at a better world that has corrected the mistakes that were shown out during the pandemic, while I am getting other people to journey with me on this big building, I must also do my small building. Absolutely. I must also convert myself to a post-pandemic person. And that is essentially uh, about not maintaining the status quo, because the status quo is broken. Sure. We have to find a different ways to make sure that you know discrimination against women is not a thing that is tolerated. That uh, schools that lack basic infrastructure is not a thing because we've seen in the pandemic that when you don't have, for instance, infrastructure, you put a lot of people at risk. Because in any case, it's not even about whether we'll have another pandemic, it's when we'll have another pandemic. Absolutely. And that period must not find us in the same state as, the, as this pandemic found us. Absolutely. And what is your idea of the African perspective on female leadership? Well, I think the most important thing about female leadership is being inclusive. I think in the way we sort of live our, live our lives, where we, in most times, tend to bring a chomi along, uh, tend to be sisterly to people. We have to make this a business opportunity, that whatever you do in your business, in your institution, we are always conscious of being uh, inclusive. Let's not leave inclusivity at home when we go to work. Let's bring it with us so that we shape our organizations, our business with inclusivity inside them. Absolutely. And the last one that I was going to sneak in is what's the one book that changed your life? The one book that uh, changed my life is uh, I, I Know Why the Cage Bag the, the cage bed sings, yeah. sings. and uh, it's, it, it's not, not even because it was saying something uh, that is fundamental and, and, and different, but it was about how it spoke to the things that I thought only happened, uh, you know, far away. Uh, and I recognized in that book that we actually live in a society where I could be in the same position Absolutely. and I need to strengthen myself to make sure that I am protected. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thanks. This is such an honor. Thank, Thank you. you.